Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. Obviously, I have not posted a video in a very long time. Really sorry about that. I just got super busy with school towards the end of the year. But today is my first day of summer, which is super exciting, and I'll have so much more time to film videos now. Also, if you have any video requests for me, definitely leave a comment down below because I'm always looking for new ideas. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I got this makeup look. It's nothing too crazy or dramatic. It's just a really simple dewy skin, light pink on the eyes and the lips. But I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. Okay to start off with my base I'm just going to mix a little bit of my daily moisturizer which is from Cetaphil with this Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid which is basically just a liquid highlight and it's a really gorgeous like icy pink champagne color. This is just going to give me a really nice glowy base. I feel like that gave my skin just a really nice soft dewy finish. Now I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Pro Glow Concealer and this has been one of my favorites recently. It's super just lightweight and natural on the skin. So I'm just applying this under my eyes and then kind of down the center of my face because I tend to get a little bit more red there. I'm using this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to blend this out. And I'm going to set that in place with the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. I have been obsessed with this recently. This is the best loose powder I have ever used. Oh, it just gives your face like the most flawless natural finish. It's so beautiful. Before I finish up the rest of my face makeup, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. I'm not going to film myself doing my brows because I do them the same exact way in every tutorial, but I'm going to be using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and the Maybelline Brow Drama to set my brows in place. Okay, brows are done, and now I'm going to contour a little bit. I don't usually contour, but I feel like for this kind of look, I'm kind of planning on going all out. So I'm just taking a mixture of these two shades from this Smashbox Contour Palette, and this is the Morphe M523 brush. Okay, so I just did a light contour, nothing too crazy. And now I'm going to bronze up my face with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This will never stop being my favorite bronzer. It's just the perfect tone for my skin. And if you're wondering, I put bronzer like above where I contour, so I contour more like in the hollows of my cheeks and then I bronze more on like the backs of my cheeks, if that makes any sense. And then I'm also going to bring this up onto my forehead. For blush, I'm going to use this little Tarte Mini that I got from, I think it was like the Sephora birthday gift, and it's this really nice like nude pink color, just really soft and natural. I'm going to spray my face with some Mario Badescu rose water before I highlight. Oh my god, I just inhaled so much of that. I love highlighting when my face is slightly wet with this because it just makes it that much more intense and it also helps to kind of melt it into your skin a little bit better. I'm going to be using my Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit and I'm taking the shade Starburst which is this really nice like pinky champagne color at the bottom and I'm using the Morphe M510 brush and just applying this to the cheekbones. Oh, that is such a stunning highlight. And we can't forget about the tip of the nose and the cupid's bow. Now we can move on to the eyes and I'm just going to start by priming them with a little bit of concealer. I haven't used eyeshadow primer in like a few months and honestly concealer works almost just as good for me. 
For my eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm going to start off by taking the color Tempura, which is this, like, matte cream color, and I'm just going to use this all over my lids to set the concealer in place and just give a nice, even base. I'm really not looking forward to the day when I run out of this color because it's my go-to as just, like, a base shadow, and I've already hit pan on it. For my crease color, I'm going to be using this matte, kind of mauve purple called Bon Fresco. I don't know if that's how you say it or not. I'm just applying this in my crease and transition area. should probably zoom you guys in a little bit. There we go. For the lid, I'm taking this color Vermeer. That's this gorgeous, like, pink champagne kind of color and it's super metallic so I'm just gonna use my finger to apply this right to the center and the inner corner of my eyelid now I'm just taking this black pencil liner from Marc Jacobs and I'm just going to use this to tight line my eyes I didn't really want to go like full on winged liner or anything, but this just kind of helps to give my eyes a little bit more definition. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara and then we will have a finished eye look. I've been using this Total Temptation Waterproof Mascara from Maybelline for the past little while and I really like it so far. It does a great job of like lengthening and separating your lashes. For lips, I'm going to be using this Bare Minerals Mini Liquid Lipstick in the shade Infamous and it's a really nice kind of light nudie pink color. I haven't used a liquid lipstick in such a long time. Definitely should have exfoliated my lips before using this, but it's fine. And to keep with the whole glowy theme, I'm going to put some clear gloss over this lip color. Okay, this is completely optional, but I just added these little pink jewels to either side of my face because I don't know why, but I've just been obsessed with like glitter and anything shiny I could possibly put on my face. So. So yeah, this is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.